Hello everyone, Kevin Thatcher, the founder and CEO, that's right, Chief Everything Officer here at Independence Title, coming back to you with a great video. Today we're talking about something that we were talking with the news media partners about, about condominiums. And we're talking about the 40-year certification. For those of you that are watching this, please like, subscribe, and share this video because there is a real estate agent that needs to hear this. We're dealing with a client right now, and we're not doing the closing, but we've been talking with the news media partners about that 40-year certification. So a buyer that we know closed on a property, and then with talks with the association about this 40-year certification, for those of you that don't know, in Florida, when we had the Surfside building collapse, now they require a 40-year certification on a lot of properties. Now, this 40-year certification could result in a lot of money of special assessments for work that needs to be done in order to bring these buildings up to code. So a lot of people ask, what's the responsibility? Who's supposed to know about it? Who's supposed to disclose it? and who is ultimately financially responsible for it. So we're gonna talk about a couple of things here because in this case, there were talks with the association, like they had a bunch of meetings about this 40 year certification. They were interviewing contractors. They didn't happen to pass the, the special assessment yet. But the seller knew about it. The, the, the buyer's agent who actually, I mean the seller's agent who lives in the property very well knew about it. And the contract says, that if there were any talks of a special assessment, it is supposed to be disclosed. But now here's the kicker. How are you going to prove that? How are you going to prove that the seller knew there was a special assessment coming down the pipeline? So instead of trying to figure out who to blame and who to make pay for it, let's educate you a little bit on hiring the right real estate agent. What should your real estate agent be doing? Whether you are a listing agent representing a seller or you're a buyer's agent representing a buyer. You should be reaching out to the association and gathering the information for what could potentially amount to a 10, 15, 20, 30, 50, 100,000 dollar special assessment. Regardless if you're you're the the agent on either side, you should be doing your homework, going to the association, going to the management company, saying is there anything that's on the agenda that could potentially cause a special assessment? Now that would be any special assessment, but let's talk about this 40 year certification because what if all of a sudden they need to redo all the balconies? They need to redo the pool in the pool decking. They need to redo all the stucco on the building, maybe redo the roof. You need to be sure what's going to happen. And the answer is why? First, because it's the right thing to do for your client. Second, because in the case that we're dealing with now, it is going to be a lawsuit against this real estate agent for failure to disclose because they were at the meetings because they're the expert in this building. So they knew the special assessment was coming down, but why would they disclose it to the buyer and, and take the chance that the buyer is going to walk away? You know, there was an interesting study and I love real estate agents dearly. They're the source of a lot of our business, but there was a recent study that was talking about real estate agents that list their own homes, versus real estate agents that list their clients' homes and how long they stay on the market, that an agent will keep their own personal home on the market longer to get more than convincing a seller to sell their home because they're only receiving a, a percentage of the commission by getting a higher offer, where if it's actually their home, the property stays on the market a little bit longer. So it was, it was actually an interesting study. It was in a book that I was reading. So the moral of the story is you need to trust the agent you're hiring, but you need to make sure you're hiring the right agent. If you're an agent watching this, you need to make sure you are the right agent and you do your homework. We're gonna be launching a whole academy, an online academy for agents to be able to join, to get support about becoming a better agent. More about that coming down uh, the pipeline in a couple of weeks. But you need to make sure you are the right agent and you are doing right by your client. So when we're dealing with the 40 year certifications or you're dealing with anything that has an HOA or a condominium association, you should reach out to the association and ask the question because we know sometimes sellers aren't aware of anything. You should ask the question, is there anything on the agenda that could potentially turn into a special assessment? And they'll tell you, Yes, this was an issue we talked about. Yes, the 40-year certification. And you should specifically ask about that 40-year certification. So I hope you learned something new with this video. 
talking about condominium associations, homeowners associations, and special assessments, and your role as an agent in a real estate transaction to make sure you are protecting both the clients, the buyers, and the sellers so they don't have any surprises after they close. Have a great day, everyone. Kevin Thatcher, Independence Title. Like, subscribe as always, and we look forward to seeing you at the closing table. Bye-bye.